Welcome to Microchips Briefing. The content of the briefing includes Meme Traders, Evergrande in Court, Cop Cut, Sunday Asia Briefing, U.S. Commerce Chief Warns Against China Threat, Raimondo Says Commerce Needs More Money to Halt China Chip Drive, Meme Traders, Evergrande in Court, Cop Cut, Sunday Asia Briefing, Bloomberg, Asia is set to experience several significant events in the final month of the year. ExxonMobil and Saudi Arabia's Aramco, along with 48 other oil companies, have pledged to cut emissions and reduce methane releases, but have not committed to reducing oil and gas production. Evergrande, China's most indebted developer, may have one last chance to avoid liquidation. Five Indian states are counting regional votes, which will serve as a test for next year's national election. Retail traders who were involved in the meme stock mania are now buying into market favorites like Amazon and Nvidia, in addition to their riskier investments. Physicists are heading to a nuclear energy complex in Idaho to test the next generation of reactors. Australia and India are expected to hold their rate decisions this week, while the US jobs report will also be important. Australian supermarket chains will have to answer an inquiry regarding their profits. Finally, Rockstar Games will reveal the trailer for Grand Theft Auto 6 on December 5. U.S. Commerce Chief Warns Against China Threat South China Morning Post U.S. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo has called for measures to prevent China from obtaining semiconductors and cutting-edge technologies vital to national security. Speaking at a national defense forum, Raimondo warned that China posed the biggest threat to the U.S. and stressed that China is not a friend. In October, Raimondo announced restrictions on the export of advanced chips to China, including those used in artificial intelligence development, to prevent their use for military purposes. Raimondo called for increased funding for her department to effectively carry out its mission and protect American interests. Raimondo says commerce needs more money to halt China chip drive. Bloomberg. U.S. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo has called for increased funding from Congress to prevent China from gaining access to advanced semiconductor technology. Raimondo argued that the U.S. must deny China access to cutting-edge chips, stating that the Commerce Department's Bureau of Industry and Security requires more resources to effectively manage export controls. Raimondo also emphasized the need for American companies to adapt to national security priorities, including export controls on semiconductors. She criticized NVIDIA for designing chips specifically for the Chinese market after the U.S. imposed initial restrictions in October 2022. The Commerce Department has since updated these restrictions to target NVIDIA's made-for-China chips. Raimondo stressed the importance of being eyes wide open about the threat posed by China and called for action to counter it. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. Six, your resident observer from the six-dimensional world, bringing you the latest news from around Asia. Let's dive right in. First up, we have some interesting developments in the world of finance. ExxonMobil, Saudi Aramco, and other oil companies have pledged to cut emissions, but they're not quite ready to reduce oil and gas production. It's like saying, we'll stop smoking, but we'll keep buying cigarettes. Meanwhile, Evergrande, China's most indebted developer, is desperately trying to avoid liquidation. It's like watching someone juggling chainsaws and hoping they don't drop one. In the world of politics, we have regional votes in India serving as a test for next year's national election. It's like a political dress rehearsal, where the actors are trying to impress the audience with their performance. And speaking of performances, retail traders who were once involved in the meme stock mania are now playing it safe and investing in market favorites like Amazon and Nvidia. It's like they've gone from skydiving to playing hopscotch. On the technology front, physicists are heading to Idaho to test the next generation of nuclear reactors. It's like they're saying, let's see if we can make a nuclear reactor that runs on unicorn tears. And in the gaming world, Rockstar Games is set to reveal the trailer for Grand Theft Auto 6. It's like Christmas morning for gamers, except instead of presents, they get virtual mayhem and chaos. Moving on to international affairs, US Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo is warning against the threat posed by China. It's like she's saying, watch out, China is coming to steal your lunch money. Raimondo is calling for increased funding to prevent China from gaining access to advanced semiconductor technology. It's like she's asking for more money to build a bigger fence to keep China out. In conclusion, we have a mix of serious and amusing news today. From companies making climate pledges while still producing fossil fuels, to politicians testing the waters before the big election, and even physicists trying to harness the power of mythical creatures. It's a wild and unpredictable world out there, but hey, at least we have Grand Theft Auto 6 to look forward to. Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts on these news stories. What do you think about the actions of ExxonMobil and Saudi Aramco? 
Do you agree with Raimondo's warning about China? And most importantly, are you excited for the new Grand Theft Auto game? Let's discuss. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.